In January of 2019, I locked the front door of my house for the last time. It was a place I'd lived in for 14 years that no longer felt like home. It was time to leave what housed the ghosts of my marriage and the old me. For the first time in over 30 years, I had no pets, no partner, no rent, and no mortgage. It was me, a few of my cherished possessions, and my five-speed Mazda as we hit the road. My initial plans had me travel to Texas for a speaking tour in late February. March found me in Thailand, where I visited sacred temples and spent many nights looking up at the stars. When I returned to the States, my heart called to wander. I traveled throughout the West and sought out sacred sites. I hiked to shrines at the top of mountains and to a cave on the backside of a remote town. I walked many labyrinths and climbed to a medicine wheel only found by a map coordinates. I visited a Benedictine monastery that had views for miles and offered lunchtime chants that were balm for the soul. I discovered my love for hot springs, which brought healing via the convergence of the elements, something that became a focus for my travels. Back east, I built a successful career on Wall Street. Work was a place where I knew what I needed to do. It was a place I could prove my worth. Work became my identity and provided something to focus on outside of myself. For 27 years, work was my foundation. It felt like something I could control because even in the chaos of corporate life, systems and project management gave me a sense of knowns. Work provided protection from the crazy outside world until one day my career was over. All of a sudden I had no roof, no walls and no foundation. My home of implied safety that I'd leaned on for so many years didn't exist anymore. It turns out work was a house of cards. In my eight months on the road, I found freedom and comfort in not having any parameters. I felt safer than I had in years. When I think of home, it's a place we live within that's outside of us. It's meant to be a place of safety and refuge, a place where we can let everything fall to the floor and just be. Ideally, home is a place where we don't have to pretend, where we can speak our truth and be seen for who we are, rather than feel like a burden. For me, home was safe until it wasn't because of mental illness. It was safe until it wasn't because of sexual abuse. It was safe until drugs or alcohol took over. In many of the homes I lived in, each time it felt like the rug was pulled out from underneath me, I lost a piece of myself, a little more of my voice, and I began to forget who I was inside. My travels landed me in Utah not long before the world shut down, a place where I was safe until January of 2021 when I felt a large lump in my right breast. We think of a cancer diagnosis as tragic, but what if the very thing that society tells us to fight is the exact thing for us to lean into, the thing that will help bring us home to ourselves? From a place deep within me, I began to really listen to what my heart was calling for. As children, many of us dream of traveling to far off places, yet few of us make it further than the end of the block. In my childhood, I didn't have the option to leave, not even in my dreams. As an adult, I'd persevere until I couldn't any longer, and then I'd walk away. I realized that I'd wandered for most of my life through schools, relationships, and jobs, always searching for that person, that place, or that thing that would make me feel whole. With this diagnosis, there was no leaving my body and no escape from what didn't feel safe. There was me with a tumor that represented 
so many of the burdens I carried for so many years. I was immediately grounded into a whole new way of looking at my world. Four years after locking my front door for the last time, and two years after beginning the journey of healing breast cancer, two months ago, I completed 25 rounds of radiation after a mastectomy. Breast cancer has given me the opportunity to heal my own ghosts, and it shifted my world in miraculous ways. I've connected more deeply with my voice and of who I am out from underneath the stories I've carried. I've healed the energies internalized from the panic attacks and depression that were around me when I was young. I found deeper levels of forgiveness from the experiences of sexual abuse. I've cleared anger, frustration, and defensiveness and let go of the patterns that drove me in my old world because breast cancer brought me to my knees. It's been a journey to go within the walls of my heart and heal the traumas that had me seek validation outside of myself, to listen to my own inner wisdom, and to find peace in a world filled with chaos. Breast cancer has given me the space to create a whole new foundation. It's the catalyst that's brought me home to myself of healing the emptiness of feeling like I'd lost everything when in reality, I was given the space to rediscover me. This has been a time of finding my place in my world. This journey continues and this much I know. I've fallen in love with these four walls I inhabit, these walls that carry me through life, that are open to love and continued healing. The hardness that was my shell of protection for so many years has softened. I've softened. This sacred temple in which I live, where there is no lock, nor a key to turn, a place I've finally come home to where I am safe, at peace, and I have everything I need.